Hello friends. Welcome to another exciting video. Actually, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, <clears throat> well, um, it's not one of those videos which usually my videos are pretty weird and corner cases, but this seems to be a corner case, but at the same time, uh, um, seems to be a common, common uh, case. Um, what we're going to talk about today is um, finance and row level security. And I will tell, of course, during this video, explain why, um, what's the reason for this video and what does that even mean? And maybe this is going to be part two video. This is going to be part one and then part two, most likely, depending on how big, long this video um, uh, turns out to be. All right. So before I explain all the stuff, let's get to Power BI and take a look at it. As usual, uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, Power BI is a simple report. I have a month and sales data. Again, I'm saying finance, but does not matter. That's immaterial, but it's more about uh, um, uh, viewing the data um, uh, under certain conditions. Um, usually what happens is when you're working in finance, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. And, uh, you know, when the month end happens, let's say you are you are pulling the data from your financial system and it's continuously getting updated. And, um, and th th there, are, there are always like some month end adjustments or some, some things which need to be get done by the finance department before they release the report to the organization, right? That's a pretty common scenario. It could be five days after business. It could be three days after, after business days after month end, so forth, so on. But, they, but there is always like, it's not like on the end of the month, now this data is ready. Uh, or the reports are ready for the management or whosoever is looking at those reports. But in typical scenario, let's say we are pulling the data from uh, external system or financial system and bringing it in, but uh, and it's available to see everyone. Um, now, the problem which actually um, I'm, I'm trying to solve here is um, somebody says, okay, you know what, um, this data we have uh, getting from financial system, which is perfect, but at the same time, we don't want this data to be available to everyone until we tell um, now it is ready to be available. So basically, we want to tell, okay, from this date, um, before this date because we reviewed the data up to that you can see it and anything after that if that data is in power bi uh, don't show that like today is 29th of february and let's say i want to say okay i can only see the data before um uh 1st of february or 31st march because that's already reviewed by finance and good to go and data after 31st of january should not be available for anybody to see right that's pretty common scenario i think uh, in my opinion. So now the question comes, how, how to solve for it? Um, so in this particular example, because I have only data, sample data for January 2022, the one way to do that is what I did is, let's say we have somewhere we are storing, um, you know, last reviewed date or whatever you want to call it, or maybe your ERP system has something which it flags out, okay, th these periods are being um reviewed and confirmed right i seen erp system as those kind of things but regardless of that so we have a date somewhere which tells us any data before this is already reviewed and any data after this date is not reviewed and should not be available in the report um, so what i did here is um, just to demo that um, i created a um a parameter for the time being call it reviewed month and date like uh, until what date the data has been reviewed i g just gave the date 31st of december again this could be data coming from date could be coming from some some source external source and uh, regardless of how it comes there is a date which tells us on or before and after right the one way to solve this is uh, i go to let's say my fact tables uh, in this case it's a sales and I just do the filter on that. And then uh, I added the filter already here. I say as where my order date is less than equal to review and date, only load that data and don't load anything after that. So in this case, because we have the data up to 31st, uh, we have the data up to January 2022. And of course, if I apply the changes and, uh, oh, sorry, um, my, uh, yeah, I have to remove this. And, um, if I apply the changes now, 
so my January 2022 will disappear, right? So that's perfectly fine. Now it's up to December 2021. And uh, even we are pulling the data from the backend system, but uh, somewhere we are saying, okay, only data good from this date, uh, prior to this date, not after this date. Uh, the solution works somewhat, but again, that's not the right solution. Uh, and the reasoning behind that is, there are always two types of people, right? Some are who are going to look at the final numbers and some are the people in the finance who are reviewing the data. And then they need this data in Power BI, for example, right? They need to see January data. Um, the people, there are people who would like to see all the data available in Power BI, regardless of reviewed or not reviewed, but there are people who are consuming those reports can only see data on or before the or the um, owner before the review date, right? So now there are two personas. Mm -hmm. So this particular solution where you pre-filter the data, unfortunately does not work because now it's already filtered and the people who are supposed to review these reports cannot see this data, right? So how to solve for this? And uh, that's where it comes the row level security. So I'm gonna put this February, uh, sorry, January 22 data in there again. So we will have it. December 2022, okay, perfect, here you go, Jan, uh, sorry, January 2022. So now in this particular scenario, uh, what we can do is to manage this, we can have a row level security, right? We can create a security. If people are in that security group uh, or part of that security, then they cannot see the data um, after the review date, right? And um, so I already created a, a row level security um, rule here. I'm just gonna quickly walk through that. But the thought process is, again, actually, maybe I show here, I created a test measure just to see what it is. Uh, so here I created a test um, uh, measure just to demo how RLS is gonna work. First, we're gonna get the review date, right? What is our review date? That is that parameter which from which we are getting the date. And then we're saying is uh, based on the review date, look into what date, any dates which is on or before that review date, um, uh, just count that date. We're just counting it and then saying, okay, checking it true or false, right? Again, keep in mind, row level security is always true or false. Whatever the row level security, the rules you put, if it return true, that is included. If it returns false, um, then it's excluded. So how you come to true and false, that's your business logic. In this case, the business logic is any date on or before review date is true. Any date on after this review date is false, right? That's pretty much the row level security is. And this is what I'm gonna do here is, so if I drop this test measure in this visual here, what we see is my calendar day is going up to December 2024. Everything is false. Even the January 2022 is false. I have the data, right, as you can see, because my review date is 31st of uh, December and uh, 2021. So anything after 31st of December um, 2021 is true. So, and anything after that is false. It means um, I need to create a security, a row level security, and uh, which will return true or false, giving the similar logic, right? That's pretty much what we want. And I already created that. And uh, if I go and manage rules, I said user review date. And on calendar, I put the same logic uh, exactly, include date, whatever I showed in the measure. I actually can use directly that measure here as well if I wanted to. So now my rule is here. And um, how does this work? I'm going to remove this. So everything is fine. So if we have to test the um, a row level security we go as in a view as and what i can do is i want to test it as a user review date that's the rule i want to apply and now i apply this rule and try to look from that um, row level security rules perspective and e january is not shown anymore because it's been filtered my calendar is filtered um, and uh, only showing me the dates from december onward or um, prior to December. So that's why I don't see it. So in case I change my parameter value, let's go back to our parameters, uh, stop viewing. And if we go to a transform data, edit parameters, so let's say I change it to um, 31st December of 2020. And mm -hmm, 
2020 and OK. And refresh, apply the changes. Just, just going to quickly read the data. And uh, if now I go and in the modeling and go view as user review date now because it is December 2020. So anything in 2021 data should disappear. So here you go. So this is pretty straightforward until now, right? Everything works. So now what we can, but there are certain challenges with this as well. Um, let me show you guys what the challenge is, which we will, we will probably solve in part two video. But I guess in this one, this is pretty good at this point of time. Like this will do the job to be very honest. And, uh, but th there is another challenge which I'm trying to solve. And let me show that challenge in this one. And then we will try to solve it in the next video. The challenge is, um, what, um, in this particular case they are doing is they have another um column in uh, calendar table which shows whatever the current month is is shown as a current the other are shown as a, a actually month name because they want the default selection to be on the current right this is always a challenge because there is no default value for the slicer so this is the solution they came uh, up with right so we are adding a column in our calendar table saying okay whatever our last transaction date is in our our um, fact table that particular month is a current rest is just show the name so let me bring this month slicer um, in here uh, in the table so as you can see it is showing january 2022 as in current rest as the month right so the use case is uh, when um, this has been used as in a slicer for example and uh, they will go and default it to be single select as as current so it will always show your current month right when the february data comes in the last transaction date is in february and then the current will change to february 2022 and it will be pre-selected so this is a common practice how we are doing it uh, to overcome that because there's no default selection available in the slicer um, now, the challenge with this particular solution, again, going back to RLS and all this stuff, um, when we are using RLS, now the last transaction date for the people who are part of that RLS now changes to the whatever the review date is, right? It's not, for them, the current is not um, the what the last transaction date is in our table, but the current for them is the uh, last reviewed date. Let's see what happens and um, let's go uh, modeling and view as <clears throat> and use review date so what we want it to be our most recent last review date is i think i set to as in a december 2021 so we expect the current to be changed to uh, december 2020 uh, 20, uh, december 2020 right i think well, let's let's bring the last review date here as well just to make sure that we are looking the information here correct it's yeah so last review date is december 31st 2020 uh, in this case right so what we want is if we are in a rls being applied our current should be um, december 31st 2020 so that will be actually this one so pre-selected already for december but let's go back to view as and use review date and now i'm gonna go okay so here is a challenge uh, what happened is my this particular calculation of the column which is being calculated is calculated prior to the row level security being applied right there's no role because this is still looking to january 2021 as the current month because that is the last transaction date so basically the the column is pre-computed um rls being applied right it is not dynamic that okay when the rls de deployed and then it is computed so that's the challenge how we overcome this thing that's exactly what we're going to talk about in the next video so stay tuned do subscribe my channel and make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, share it with your um, peers and your in, in in your network and i i think it did answer some of the question. I'm pretty sure. And uh, do leave your feedback. What do you guys think about it? But we will look into next video how to solve this, right? We still want our current to be changed based on the last review date and um, how we can make that happen. All right. Stay tuned. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching.
Bye for now. Cheers.